West Holmes Knights Football Weekly Preview Show on WKLM. This week's Knights Football Weekly Preview Show brought to you by Village Motors in Millersburg. I'm Mac Hoyle alongside Mike Kenzie and West Holmes, a season opening home win over Triway by the score of 41 7. And Mike, the junior quarterback, Morgan Smith, wasting no time getting on track. First play for the line of scrimmage, a 75 yard touchdown pass to wide receiver Kyle Moltrich. Oh, it was sure exciting. You know, we anticipated for this to happen this year, and uh, it sure enough did. You know, it happened maybe a little bit sooner than I had anticipated. And, and then Kyle went down on, you know, the next series. And uh, I just wanted to say something for the family of the Maltriches that they wanted me to thank the, the, the Night Nation uh, for all the response and calling to see how he's doing and even the area coaches. And that's one thing nice we have here, Matt, is, you know, we talk a lot. We're a, a, a close-knit family or a, a, or a neighborhood, and uh, everybody comes together in the need. So uh, thanks to everybody for the Maltriches. No doubt about that. So it's an entire community, certainly, uh, that are concerned about Kyle. and certainly hope that he's going to be all right. And you look at the team here, made that adjustment, give credit to them, and the absence of their top receiver, and still able to put 41 points to the board. That says a lot about the team also in the season opener. Uh, they sure did. You know, it seemed like the, you know, the first possessions, they were kind of startled, like, what are we going to do now? But the boys, uh, they, they came into their own, and, uh, you know, it took a little bit of time. I don't know how many points we scored in the third quarter but we put up a bunch in the fourth quarter and uh they rallied and uh you know it's good not to play great but still win 41 to 7 and uh, we'll take that any week and how about the defense allowing just the one touchdown late in the first quarter elijah williams dixon jack marmot each got sacks in that second half uh yeah you know the, the the defense bent a little bit but they didn't break and uh again it was a learning experience for everybody game number one is tough you know game one is tough now game two's coming, and we had mentioned before we got a lot of people that maybe didn't start last year, but they did get a lot of playing time, and now they got to start in one game under their belt. So I think good things are in the future for West Holmes. All added up to a record time, 22 consecutive regular season wins now and 19 consecutive home wins as well. Let's go out the night stadium to Jake Seidel alongside head coach Zach Gardner. Thanks, Matt. I'm here with head coach Zach Gardner. Coach, a big win over Triway cemented your team in the record books uh, with the 1981 to 1983 team, 22 straight regular season victories. What can you tell us about the hard work your teams over the years have put in to get to that mark? Yeah, you know what I mean? It's a testament to, to what a lot of people have put into this program. And it's not just it's not just players. It's not just coaches. It's, a, it's our community. It's our administration. It's our school. It's our parents. You know, it's, it's the alumni, uh, the that have been here you know a whole a heck of a lot of people have put a whole heck of a lot into this and it's uh it's really special to, to, to see things like that, especially, you know, uh, you know, being up there with, with the, the upper uh, echelon teams that have played in, in West Holmes football history. You know, that's just something that we're going to wear as, as a badge of honor. Coach, quarterback Morgan Smith got your offense rolling uh, with four TDs in the first half. Uh, what can you tell us about your offense in that game against Triway and what Smith was able to accomplish? Yeah, I'm just really proud of the way that, that our kids – are getting out of what they put into it. They put a whole heck of a lot into this. You know what I mean? They the, the through the practices and the mental part of the game, the physical part of the game, the emotional part of the game. You know they put everything they have into this, and you definitely can see um, the, the the results uh, showing. You know for, for our team, and it, it was exciting. You know to to go out with uh, you know a bunch of bunch of new players in new spots and go have 500 yards of offense and you know score 40 points again and have 21 first downs and it's just a testament to, to all of our kids our skilled players our offensive line going out and executing the game plan and it helps when you have a sophomore like Lynn Klein come up big in his first game yeah like I said you know I don't think people realize how young we truly are you know as a football team with uh, uh, you know with, with, with the guys that we have and uh, um, you know we, we had a lot of guys step up especially uh, you know after Kyle went down you know thoughts and prayers to Kyle Maltrich as he's working his way through um, you know his, his situation with his knee right now but um, I, I was really proud out of the way that our kids stepped up and uh, you know uh, made plays when we needed to, especially uh, guys like Lynn Klein. Coach, your defense was able to get to the quarterback Elijah Williams, Dixon, and Jack Marmot both with sacks and Logan's or part of me. Yes, Logan Zollers with an interception. Uh, what can you say about what you saw from them and how you want to see them develop? Yeah, we, in the preseason, we felt really good about our defense. You know, we switched up our schemes, and uh, uh, we, we, we feel it really fits the, the personnel that we have, and our kids are playing with a lot of confidence, and they're running to the football well. And when you play with great attitude and, and you understand, you know, the leverage, you know, keeping leverage on offense and, and how to tackle well, good things happen. And, and we certainly saw that happen last week. 
Orville this Friday, Coach, they came off on the wrong side of a close game against Worcester. What are you expecting to see out of the Red Riders? Uh, we're going to get their best shot. You know, they're, they're so well coached. Um, you know, the, the, the improvement that they showed from early in the year last year to the end of the year to go win a league title, you know, they're, they're a playoff football team. And, uh, you know, this is a big game for them, and I'm sure that they have a, a bad taste in their mouth from how that Worcester game ended because, you know, for, for a majority of that game, they dominated that game. And, uh, you know, for them uh, to, to, to not come away with a win, I'm sure that they're going to be fired up. They're having a great week of practice, and it's going to take our best effort uh, to compete against a, against a very good Oroville team. Well, Coach, thanks for your time today. Good luck on Friday against Orville. Thank you. Here with West Holmes quarterback Morgan Smith. Morgan, uh, you accounted for four total TDs in your first varsity start, uh, in, uh, all in the first half for those ones. Uh, what was going through your head uh, during that time and then throughout the rest of the game? Uh, well, I was just thinking I just played the best I can be and just, like, help out the team with whatever I could do and then just, like, play. I mean, I wasn't really thinking too much about it. I just was playing, and then the team helped me out a little bit. And then when Kyle went down, I mean, it was tough, but, like, we are still able to, like, keep it going. Like, You're able to spread the ball around to a couple different receivers, but how much does it uh, help you as a quarterback when you have a young guy like Lynn Klein be able to step up and make some big plays? Yeah, that really helps because, like, on a few balls, like, maybe out of his reach, he's able to, like, go and get them. And, like, maybe other receivers wouldn't be able to do that, but he's, he's really good. Yeah. yeah. You got Orville on Friday. Like I said, talked to Coach Gardner. They came off on the wrong side of a close game uh, against their rival Worcester. Uh, what are you expecting to see out of them, and what are you and your guys doing to prepare to get ready for them? Uh, well, I think I think they're going to give us our best give us our best shot and uh, give it all they got. Because especially because they're coming off of a loss, I mean they're going to they're going to be going hard, hard work, week of practice, and like I guess we just have to do the same, but just work hard and. Like have a good mindset going in this week, and then just pretty much just work hard all week, and then Friday's game time. So, well, Morgan, thanks for your time today. Good luck Friday against Orville. Yeah, thank you. We'll send it back to Matt Croy at Village Motors. All right, Jake, thank you. Alongside Mike Kinsey once again at Village Motors. And, Mike, we talked about it last week, but worth repeating, the annual Customer Appreciation Day coming up this Saturday. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a great weekend. I hope everybody can come out and enjoy. Uh, we've got a lot of people here. I think we go through like 500 to 600 plates from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m., and I hope that you're going to be one of them. So please come out and see us. Come out and see them this Saturday. And, of course, something else to mark your calendar down is the Jeep Jamboree coming up. That's Thursday, September 7th, 6 to 8 p.m. And I know, Mike, that was really popular last year. Uh, it's really a neat event. And for you people that maybe don't know about it, I think you really do because it's when you drive through town and you see all these Jeep Wranglers at all the hotels here in town. And it's, it's really a neat environment. I think last year... Uh, we had like 150 Jeeps, and we expect that many to come this year. So if you're out and about, you know, that night, just come on out. It's a, it's a good time to mingle with some people that like to get off-road. All right, that's Village Motors on Worcester Road in Millersburg or on the web, villagemotorsinc.com. But West Stoles will be back on their home field again in week two this Friday against the Orville Red Riders. Of course, West Stoles has won in each of the last two meetings, Orville, 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 including their win last year on the road by the score of 51-14. West Stoles actually has won their last two meetings over Orville, 106-34 to combined. So they've been dominant in these last two games here. But Orville coming off their first winning season since 2019, going 6-5 and five last year. And, of course, last week, and their season opener had a 17-point lead over Worcester before suffering that loss here. But Orville team obviously has a lot of talent still, Mike, in their own right, led by quarterback Sawyer Hampshire and also wide receiver Greg Smiley. Well, you know, there, there's a young group that's been together for a couple years now, and I think they're about one year away. But I think next year uh, they're going to be someone to, to, to tangle with. Um, like I said, they're getting some experience and some youth uh, that's getting experience. So I think we're a year away to it might be a good competition. Good matchup, though. They have these two on the schedule, as we saw the last couple of years. Obviously, a former OCC team, and we know this has kind of been a rivalry over the years, so nice to have Orville taking on West Holmes once again. Oh, it sure is, you know, and, and if you want to be the best, you got to play the best, and good competition makes you strong, and, and you're right. It is good to be have Orville back. They were in my conference when I went to school many moons ago, but uh, they always have good sports. You know, West Holmes is going to be on the road for a couple weeks after this, Mike, so important to kind of take care of business here on your home field before you get on the road. Well, like you mentioned earlier, 22 in a row, and hopefully we go for 23. So you come to the dungeon, it's a tough place to go away with a victory. And uh, 
And again, the, the Friday night, the, the place was packed, uh, the environment was outstanding, and the weather was great. So hopefully the same thing will happen this Friday. Make sure you're coming out this Friday to be part of that, uh, the action on Friday in Night Stadium. If you can't make it out, make sure you tune in on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Of course, we'll be video live streaming the game also on the WKLM YouTube page that is in conjunction with Clax Communications, so don't miss that. Our hometown football Friday night pregame show begins at 6 p.m. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock. For Mike Kinsey, I'm Mac Rice. Special thanks also to Jake Seidel, Zach Gardner, and Morgan Smith. And that's been this week's Nice Football Weekly Preview Show brought to you by Village Motors. Thank you for watching the West Holmes Knights Football Weekly Preview Show on WKLM.